Afternoon everyone and welcome to another Round the Grounds episode. So it's National League action today. I'm in Oldham, Oldham Athletic versus Hartlepool United for the channel. Um, it's a weird fixture this one, these two teams met on Boxing Day, uh, how the National League do it, um, it's a reverse fixture, so they play each other straight away, um, so chance for revenge for Hartlepool, um, obviously Oldham coming away, 3-1 winners on Boxing Day, so they'll be looking to follow that up today, uh, with an eye on the uh, playoff uh, places, we Hartlepool they've, they've struggled um, to find this league it's a tough tough league uh, any team they'll tell you that Wrexham uh, obviously get promoted last year they, they found it hard for years um, so, yeah it's just a tough tough league some good teams some great grounds in it and uh, Boundary Park is the destination for the channel today uh, cracking old school stadium um, always freezing so I've got my gloves um, but what do you expect uh, for the last uh, vlog of 2023? Um, absolutely buzzing to, to be in with the Oldham fans today and uh, just experience a match day here at Boundary Park. Like I say, it's my last vlog of 2023, so I'm hoping to go out with a bang and uh, just take this one in uh, for my channel. If you're new round here, please smash the like button, consider subscribing. S massive thank you to everyone that helped me t t to get to 5,000 subscribers. Um, I'm now on the hunt for 10,000. Uh, not being greedy, but yeah, we, we move. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take this one in. Uh, National League action, hoping for a thriller. Um, let's get round the ground and talk to a few fans. See you soon, guys. So for today's game against Hartlepool United, Oldham Athletic have dedicated this game to Alzheimer's Research UK. Uh, all the players have been sharing their first football memory, so I'm going to share mine, but I'm also going to ask uh, both home and away fans what their first footballing memory is. For me, it's got to be my granddad. He introduced me to the game of football, uh, kicked my first football when I was four, fell in love with the game, um, and to that day I just... Yeah, I just absolutely loved football, uh, going to grounds, seeing grounds for the first time and yeah, I just absolutely fell in love with it. So that's my first f football memory. Put in the comments down below, what's your first football memory? So yeah, it's a great, uh, great thing for Oldham to, to dedicate this game um, to the Alzheimer's uh, Research UK. <laughs> Two Hartlepool fans, what's your names? Daniel. Yep. Joshua. How are you feeling coming into this fixture? Not very confident after no. last Saturday or no. whenever we boxing do when we played. Yeah, it's a weird one, isn't it? Where yeah. you reverse fixture. But hopefully we should have one of our main players back today to start, right. so hopefully. Yeah. And how do you think Hartlepool found the National League? Tough old league, and not it? We started off really well. Yeah. A few injuries have wiped out a few of our better players. Yeah. We're causing a few problems yeah, now. Yeah. Get them back and hopefully try and make the playoffs. Yeah, push hopefully. on. Yeah, yeah, because this obviously coming up to a key period now. So, because after the first few games we were top. Right, yeah, <laughs> flying, yeah. And how yeah, do you feel? Hopefully, get a win today. When one senior, you get everyone back. Yeah. I think after like March, you can probably go and push at least mid table. Yeah, yeah. What's your score predictions? Probably two one pools. Yeah. Hopefully two one pools. Yeah. I'm, I'm asking football fans uh, what their earliest football memory is. Uh, what's yours? It'll have been watching pools. Yeah. Possibly when we get pr got promoted in '91. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I remember <laughs> playing against you because I'm a Wednesday fan. 
playoff final, Cardiff. Yeah, I remember yeah. that day for yeah. all the wrong reasons. <laughs> I was only a little lad. <laughs> what about yourself? Probably. When I was mascot yeah. for Coles. So oh, I love that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good memories. Yeah. Enjoy the game. Cheers you for too. stopping. Thanks for that. Look who we're with, Josh. Come Fusion on, Josh. come on, I'm buzzing for this game, mate. Yeah, Oldham Hardypool, buzzer for it. What um, brings you here today? What brings me here? Football. No, <laughs> it's a ground ticket, it's a ground ticket for me. So, um, yeah, no, I'm done out for this one. Two good fan bases, so I thought, atmosphere wise, you can't really pick a better one than today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. National League, it's yeah, absolutely it's worth Perfect. So. I love non league as well, so National League as well. Two great clubs, yeah. can't complain. Let's have a little cheeky score prediction. You know, Oldham won 3 1 the other day. And I think it's going to be a clean sheet this time, 2-0, 2-0 yeah, yeah. Oldham. We're going I'm to ask, see some... I'm asking football fans yeah. what their earliest football memory is. Okay, earliest football memory is me going, first ever away day with Brighton, that was Colchester away. We won 1-0 in the 90th minute, but apparently I hated it because it was too noisy. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was one of them, it was yeah, one of them. them yeah. yeah, it weren't great, but if I got that now, I'd be buzzing. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird, it's really weird. weird. Yeah, so, yeah, it's all good, all good. So, check this guy out. You don't need me to pick you up, <laughs> oh, mate, no, I appreciate you're absolutely it. absolutely smashing it on the way to under Yes, fingers um, crossed. So, if you're not subscribed, why? <laughs> Do check it. Check him out. But two, you're old to them fans, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you're supporting Hartley Paul today, yeah. Um, yeah. So what brings you to the game? Yeah, just, just got a few mates that support Hartley Paul, so he's coming to see them. Yeah, yeah, jumping it away. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Playing on New yeah. Year's Day. So. Yeah, well, you got New Year's Day. Halifax away. Yeah, yeah. Do you love this uh, national league? Yeah, it's all right. But yeah, yeah. Hoping to go up this season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm asking football fans what their first football memory is because all of them are dedicating it to the outside. And what's your first? Um, Probably Barnsley at home in the FA Cup. Yeah. We beat them 1 0. Yeah, and it stands out, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. What about yourself? Yeah, probably the same to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Love it's, it. It's just one of, one of the games, though. Yeah, you always look back on special games. Yeah. It's we're just good limbs you beat yeah. them, did you? Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. Blythe at home in the playoffs. Who? Blythe. Blythe Spartans. Don't remember that one. Uh, lastly, let's get a score prediction, boys. 3 1 Hartlepool. Yeah. 2 1 Hartlepool. Lovely. Cheers for that, lads. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. So Jack, you're a Cambridge hello, fan? Hello, you're a Cambridge fan? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. What brings you here today? So I've been here, this is my fifth time here, um, I've been here. Yeah. Um, the atmosphere is incredible for this league. Yeah. Um, the Hypeful got a good fan base, yeah. so why not two big atmospheres against each other today? Um, Oldham's just up to the playoffs and then yeah. Hypeful the mid-table, I think. Yeah, correct. yeah. But I think, saying, you know, I've been here back in February against yeah. Dagenham, and my word, that two night atmosphere yeah. was the best atmosphere, atmosphere I've heard in the yeah. fifth tier. You know, it's just, they got the megaphone, the flags going, the drums, yeah. and that. It's just, so I was having a sport. Yeah. You know, we've got a drum yet, but we don't have the no megaphone, no flag thing. Yeah, yeah. Here, you've got like a European style, yeah. you know, fan base in the National League, which is quite good. Yeah, yeah. The uh, National League, I think it's one of the best leagues for atmosphere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some cracking easily. clubs and fans easily. in there. You no, know, say you've got like, you know, Chesterfield as well, the X League 2 club, yeah, yeah. the Hypeful, you know, yeah. League recently. Oldham, yeah, yeah. you know, that. Yeah. But I know, so, you know, my team, Cambridge, though, like, League One, we got, like, the big boys, like, like Derby, Portsmouth, Bolton, yeah. and that. Yeah, and yeah. here, you've got, like, little teams like Bourne Woods, you know, Epsley, exactly, yeah. you know, going to, to this big round, they used yeah. to Premier League. Yeah. And then, uh, probably about like, 31 years ago, Epsley playing, playing, what, the eighth tier now, yeah. and he's in the fifth tier, now yeah. they're playing each other, it's just it's quite yeah, surreal. Yeah. I'm asking football fans what their earliest football memory is. What's yours? Uh, so, I, funny enough, I've been watching football since I was um, 14, so right, seven yeah, years ago. Yeah. Uh, my first game was against Coventry in the FA Cup, yeah. scored four goals. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, Luke Berry, yeah. Played now plays for Luton, scored yeah, four goals yeah. for, um, for us, it's quite good. Yeah. But no, it's just Cambridge, you know, I've my life, you know, my dad's, you know, been watching Cambridge since the 80s, and then yeah. since the Championship. And then he stopped, and then I came into 2016 and he'd go back into it. So, yeah. quite good. Yeah, so what stand are you in? You'll be on the goal uh, today? I'm in the older men, so the ultra. Yeah, I think so, I'm in there today. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's good, mate. No, appreciate you stopping. Thanks a lot, mate. No, sorry, many times. Check many him times. out on Instagram as Thank well. You. What's yes, Jack, your name? Jack B02. Yeah, Instagram, drop me. him a follow. Thank you, mate. We're an older athletic fan. What's your name? Danny. Yeah, yeah. how are you feeling coming into this fixture? We're at home, so. Not very good at home. Not very good, no. Uh, Not well, very good. So, you just played these recently. So. Yeah, good result away, but. So who knows? Hopefully today will be the day. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah who's who's the man to watch today for Oldham? You've got to look at Norwood. Yeah. Norwood's he's better than this league, but and then I think a lot of the team is. But however, it's not come together yet. So yeah, yeah. how good are they? Yeah. So we'll You've got see the lad today. Stones. We've got Stones. Yeah. Stones is brilliant. Don't think we'll keep him after January. Yeah. Um, you've just got to enjoy him whilst he's here. Yeah, so hopefully yeah. he scores today. Yeah. That's all we ask for. Score prediction. We won 3 1 away, so I'm going 3 1 out of the pool. Cheers, mate. That's sweet. Take care.
So just wrapping up this match day vlog. Oldham 2, Hartlepool 0. Not the best game to vlog. Um, I think it were a bit flat at times. But Oldham getting the job done. Um, the fans have not seen them win um, for, for some time at Boundary Park. So it's a massive win. Obviously it's a double over Hartlepool. Um, Hartlepool will be frustrated. I thought they played some pretty neat football at times. They just lack that cutting edge. Um, but yeah, Oldham, I think now are up to eight, looking at the league table. So they're on a little bit of a run. They're coming up to a key period of the season now. Um, Christmas is done. Um, you're going to want to push on. And yeah, they're certainly going to be in the mix, I think. Like I say, away the, the better. But hopefully they can turn these uh, home uh, wins around now and uh, kick on. Um, Martley Poe, it's going to take some time. I think transition coming down last year. It's, it's a tough old league. Um, it doesn't matter who you are I think any team comes down they'll, f they'll find it difficult because there's some good quality teams in there and that gap between the EFL and the uh, National Leagues I think it's closing um, team wise I think like I say it's a, it's a really tough league to get out of um, but I love covering it um, so that wraps up my 2023 um, vlogs absolutely love the journey uh, 5,000 subscribers to end the year what a fantastic um feeling and uh, i just want to thank you all um, from the bottom of my heart because it means a lot um the support you give me and just yeah it's just absolutely incredible and i'm just lo loving the journey so i'm going to see what 2024 brings but i need a massive plea a uh, little push from me i'm up for uh, efl content uh, creator of the year for the uh, look sports media and um, so i'm going to drop a link in the descriptions and comments if you could vote um, it'll be massively appreciated. Um, I think cl um, voting closes on the 1st of Jan, so yeah, if you could drop a vote, it'd be absolutely amazing. Um, fingers crossed, I'm, like I say, I'm up against some really good content creators. Um, there's four of us uh, up for the award, so yeah, a little plea from me. If you could drop a vote, it'd be uh, muchly appreciated. Catching up with the guys before Fusion Joff. If, if you're not not subscribed to him, drop him a uh, subscribe. I'm sure most of you are, but he's a great guy, great content. Uh, so it's great to catch up with you, Josh, be, uh, before and and uh, on the way out there, bumped into Smith. It was also a great content creator. I just walking out, I'm like, "What, Smith? Can I have a picture, mate?" And just had a little chat. Um, that's my little London accent. There. It's pre pretty piss poor, but hey oh. Um, but now wraps up the vlogs, uh, 2023, what an amazing season it's been, um, some unbelievable memories, um, so I hope you have a fantastic new year, we'll be back in uh, 2024 with a bang, got some crackers lined up for you all, um, just appreciate every one of you from, from the bottom of my heart for helping me along this journey, have a fantastic new year and we'll see you on another one, thanks for watching everyone.